What's going on, y'all? Cuddy from Cuddy TV. I get the pleasure to sit yeah, down with my yeah, guy, yeah. Sheldon Cooper, the down, owner of All Access Vegas, yeah. the owner of Las Vegas Cannabis oh, yeah. Awards, co-owner of <laughs> Tattoos and Smoke. Oh, yeah. What else can I say about my guy, Sheldon Cooper? Oh, What's yeah. going on, baby? Hey, it's good to see you guys. This is Sheldon with All Access Vegas. Uh, born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada. One of my favorite cities, just have a good time. Yeah, we got some amazing food, amazing drinks, great place for events and everything, guys. Huge shout out to Cuddy TV for coming out today. We just made history, we just launched Tattoos and Smoke. So we have our first location. It's absolutely doing amazing. Uh, we've only been open uh, since March. And uh, so it's been about like six months. We've already generated over $154,000 uh, from the shop. So it's just been really good to see everyone from the community come out, have a great time. They yeah, support you. Three, they come into the show. For everyone who works at a dispensary, if you work at, you know, fire department, if you're a veteran, you know, if you skateboard, if, you know, whatever you do, like we're always about the community, giving the biggest discounts in Vegas. And uh, down here, we got two huge suites. So uh, it was an amazing opportunity to get the whole tattoo and the smoke shop all in one place. And uh, you know, the, the crazy thing is, is say if you do go to some tattoo shops, they might not have some of the newest papers or smoking devices. So that was the most interesting thing with our brand is we wanted to have the Dr. Dabbers, the Focuses, the Honey Badgers, the Puff Co's, you name it, we have it right here. And a uh, huge shout out to Rove uh, for coming down here. We have them featured here at the shop, which was an amazing accomplishment. Ignite as well. And it was really cool to just see it all come together. And the amazing thing is, is we ended up getting a tobacco license, so now we can legally sell uh, tobacco and stuff as well and then we also have our tobacco retail license so we're able to carry it and then uh, we also got our uh, license for retail so now we can have retail in here and support the different clothing from t-shirts to hats to socks you name it we have it right here at tattoos and smoke and uh, we also want to do a huge shout out for everyone that's been supporting all of our events um, from coming to the tattoo and, and smoke events and then from seeing it where it first created about being at local tattoo shops, being at local dispensaries and then now having our own shop today. It's just remarkable to see it all come together, you know. Which we are yeah. inside of Tattoos and Smoke yeah. right now, Dude, which is located. Exactly. I want you to say the location yeah. so they can come pull up. So yeah, you guys come check us out at Tattoos and Smoke. We're located at 2300 North Rainbow at Suite 111, right here at Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, yeah, all right. and our uh, Instagram for you guys too is Tattoos and Smoke Las Vegas. Make sure you guys check it out. Yeah, and uh, we also have the TattoosandSmoke.com as well. So make sure you guys check out the website. And uh, we're really looking forward to seeing everyone come on down. And uh, we got a lot of events planned out for the year. So the amazing thing with Tattoos and Smoke is if you need tickets for the Cannabis Awards, this is our number one retailer for you to get your tickets. So now if you need your general mission tickets or anything, you come down to Tattoos and Smoke. If you need your wristbands, if you're a photographer, if you're a model, if you're an artist or anything in the community, a sponsor, this is where everyone comes to grab their tickets and wristbands. So definitely uh, stay tuned to more details on that. We're going to be doing our next festival July 10, 2022. So you guys definitely stay tuned. Uh, this is going to be our fourth Las Vegas Cannabis Awards, which I couldn't believe to say this today. Uh, we did it, you know, we did it every year. Even when COVID was going on, we were the only cannabis festival to legally throw an event that year. And, uh, you know, it's all about doing an event the right way, you guys. It's not just about setting up a house party or just throwing a festival in the middle of a desert. 
Get the proper licensing, guys. I was about to say, because your events are very yeah, different. So just they are. what what gets what puts you in that mode for the tattoos and smoke events? Because I've seen a whole bunch of things when I've been to any Absolutely. of your events. So just go a little bit into that. So the amazing thing is with tattoos and smoke is we've supported so many events across Vegas, California, and all around the world. And basically what we like to do is we like to have some feature artists from all around the world come out and do tattoos. And then we also do guest appearances as well. So depending on what city you find us in, we've got different opportunities. But now, instead of just doing local events, now we start expanding to doing some of the biggest trade shows in Las Vegas. And so um, we want to do a huge shout out to Glass Vegas. We really want to thank them for having us out. Um, you know, it was really remarkable. We set up three booths and this was our first time ever setting up in a casino. And uh, it was really awesome because uh, Bally's Casino was the first casino Tattoos and Smoke ever set up at. And it was so amazing to see that unravel. And then just a couple days ago, we just set up at the mall for the very first time. Huge shout out to the CBD Expo. Uh, we did that at the Boulevard Mall. So that was uh, remarkable to finally be inside a mall, telling people about tattoos and smoke, let them know about the awards, let them know about all the opportunities we have. And, you know, with the tattoos and smoke brand, we built up so much where you guys will start seeing some more limited edition drops on some of our new featured items. So we have some uh, glow in the dark hat pins that we just dropped a thousand of them. Each one is numbered. So make sure you guys get one because there's only a thousand of them. And then we just dropped uh, limited edition mood mats uh, with mood mat. And these are dad mats. So uh, we got a hundred of these from mood mats. So these are very limited edition as well, you guys. Explain what a dad yeah. mat is for the people the that may not know. It's kind of like uh, basically a mat that you would place down and then you would put your rig on it. So then a dad mat, your glass isn't hitting glass it's actually gonna be hitting a mat. And so with this, uh, it's really great because um, you uh, protect your glass with this. Then we also did a very limited edition mouse pad. So now we have tattoos and smoked mouse pads, um, which I would have never thought would have had, you know? And then we also got some t-shirts and um, these were really awesome because we worked with a couple different companies to really get you guys the most amazing shirt from just regular Gildan tattoos and smoke shirts to pro club tattoos and smoke and even wow. Hanes. And so it's like depending on what's the quality you really want, some people like a loose shirt or a more tight shirt, we could accomplish both of that. And then um, we want to stay tuned for all the future clubs that we're doing as well. Huge shout out to Jerome Baker with the Las Vegas Dream Factory. We did a limited edition drop with Jerome Baker. I uh, want to thank him. We did a hundred custom uh, limited edition tattoos and smoke bongs. And uh, with this bong, um, it was remarkable because, you know, with glass, you can't protect each one. So it's like we probably lost about 25 bongs just within the process of creating them. So it's literally one out of 75 instead of one out of 100, you know, because you do lose a lot of the brothers and sisters on the way of making them because glass is very, very delicate. And, uh, you know, that's just a part of the industry and how it is, you know. And we want to thank uh, Solon. We just got a bunch of uh, new gear here at the shop. Um, you know, we want to thank all the amazing uh, paper companies out there like Pure Hemp. Uh, we also got the smoking as well, uh, zigzags, raw, um, the official uh, genius, uh, tops, randies, like the list will go on forever, but we really want to thank all of them uh, for coming out, all their support. We want to thank King Palms, they've supported us uh, through the last couple of festivals as well, uh, Billionaire Hemp Wraps, Royal Blunts, uh, we want to thank every single one of you guys. and. Um, the cool thing is here with tattoos and smoke, it's you could get tattooed, but then you could also come to a smoke shop and get all of your needs from cigarettes to candy to a couple of drinks like water or soda or Gatorades. And 
you could really accomplish that all here at Tattoos and Smoke. Mm, I like that. So that was a good for anybody who don't know. This is Tattoos and Smoke. That was the whole rundown, the history yeah. of it, everything that's involved with it. They do a lot of different things besides just a smoke shop. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, when they really support the community, they really support yeah. the community and the cannabis community and the tattoo community. Oh, yeah. And a huge so, shout out to my brother, Tyler Cooper I'll Tattoos. Um, you know, he's my baby brother, but you know, as we got older, now he's probably bigger than me, you know? But um, it's amazing because with my brother, he's completely tattooed, uh, and you guys will see him uh, another day as well. And basically the whole concept is, my brother does the tattoos and then I do the smoke, you know? And so it's like, whenever we first started, my brother, he was going for more clients for the tattoo industry. And then, um, you know, with me, I just threw events. So I was just telling him, like, hey, you know, we should do a Tattoos and Smoke event. And my brother, he lined us up with a tattoo shop here in Las Vegas. And next to it was a hookah lounge. And so we are able to smoke. And then it was tattoos here. And then you could smoke over here, the hookah. And so the concept really uh, started a couple of years ago when we could tattoo at the tattoo station, then we got the hookah lounge to smoke. And it was really cool to see everything come together on that aspect. And then from there, we just started growing and growing and growing. Instead of just doing tattoo shops, we later grow to doing festivals and different events where the tattoos and smoke is one of the main featured sponsors. I was about to say, Las now Vegas it's more of like a brand. Now and the Phoenix Camps Awards. And they're going to be sponsoring all of our giveaways. So any Puffco's we do a giveaway, it's from Tattoos and Smoke. Any Honey Badgers that we do a giveaway, it's from Tattoos and Smoke, you know? And we're going to be partnering up with some of the biggest brands and giving you guys some of the best free stuff you could possibly get. Because as you guys know, each one of these smoking devices is hundreds of dollars. And uh, just between the last like three festivals uh, from the last couple of years, We've already donated over $200,000 in products to the community from all of our sponsors. So we want to thank every single sponsor for all their support because we wouldn't have had all these items if it wasn't for you guys. So we really want to thank you. And uh, we want to thank all the attendees as well. Every single patient, every single cannabis activist, everyone that's really coming out and being a part of the community. and you know, just fighting for a right to, uh, you know, have cannabis and everything as well, because it's took us a long way to get to this point that we are today. Thanks.